Assalamualaikum and good day students. Our topic for today is about ruler and reba assessment. The lesson outcome for this topic, you should be able to first calculate the rapid upper limb assessment or ruler and the second one is uh, can calculate the rapid entire body assessment or reba. Ruler have developed by Dr. Dr. E. Uh, Nigel Corlett and Dr. Lynn uh, McAtamney from the University of Nottingham Institute for Occupational Economics. So actually, uh, this ruler uh, developed to investigate the exposure of individual workers to risk factors associated with work-related upper limb disorder. So this uh, assessment is straightforward and can be used with a minimum of training. RULA is one of the assess ergonomic assessment method that is uh, used best on the quick survey method. So uh, this is used uh, for the ergonomic investigation of uh, each workplace. Uh, usually, we use this ruler where there are a muscular skeletal disorder are reported there. So this ruler is best uh, on or can assess uh, for the biomechanical and also the postural loading on the body. And this ruler uh, only focus for this uh, third part of body, which is the neck, trunk, and also the upper limb. This uh, ruler method actually has been validated on uh, groups of uh, computer users and also the uh, sewing machine operators and uh, for the score of ruler this is can indicate the level of intervention required to reduce the muscular skeletal disorder risk and also uh, this ruler is complement for uh, others ergonomic methods how we can interpret uh, from the ruler output. So actually this ruler is give a total job assessment that suggests directions for modifying body position to reduce the possibility of hazard. Uh, so uh, this ruler also uh, doesn't provide uh, exact engineering controls or work activity changes. So as you can see here, uh, this is a ruler employee assessment worksheet. So when you would like to do the rapid upper limb assessment using the ruler method, you can use this worksheet. This worksheet uh, actually is uh, divided into two categories. Uh, the first one is arm and wrist analysis. And the second one is neck, trunk and also leg analysis. How we can uh, conduct the ruler assessment? So, uh, how is the procedure? So, the first one, you can uh, observe and select the posture to assess. So, this is depends on the type of study and also the selection could be the uh, longest held posture or the static posture or what appears to be the worst posture that adopted. And after you observe that posture, you take that picture, you take the video of that uh, posture and then you can uh, scoring and recording the posture yeah? uh, so uh, you have to decide whether the left right or both upper arms that are a uh, risk and need to be assessed and next use the ruler assessment diagram to score the posture for each body part this is along with the force or load and also the muscle use that required for that particular posture and the last one is uh, you have to determine the action level okay and then here the grand score can be compared with the list of action level uh, the action lead to a more detailed investigation and the action level are listed uh, in the following uh, table one uh, this table show us the level of the assessment based on the ruler score that we got from the assessment so for level one uh, is for score 1 or 2. So this is indicate that the posture is acceptable if it is not maintained or repeated for long period. Uh, so for level 2, uh, this is uh, 
for the score 3 or 4, and this is indicate that further investigation is needed and changes must and changes may be required. And uh, level 3 is for score 5 or 6. This is indicate that investigation and changes are required soon. And the last level is the highest level. It's level 4. So this is for score of 7. Uh, so this is indicate that investigation and changes are required immediately. So we have learned about the ruler. And next, we will learn for REBA. REBA means is Rapid Entire Body Assessment. So what is the difference between the ruler? If uh, you have learned that uh, ruler is rapid upper limb uh, assessment. So means that only the upper limb. But for REBA, REBA is Rapid Entire Body Assessment. So this is assess uh, for the whole body. So this is uh, the uh, REBA worksheet. Yeah, REBA assessment worksheet that uh, we can use to assess the posture using uh, this REBA worksheet. So when we can use the REBA? REBA can be used when an ergonomic workplace assessment identify that uh, further posture analysis is required. So uh, meanings for REBA, this is a uh, whole body will be used and then the posture uh, so, uh, should uh, static, uh, dynamic, rapidly changing or unstable and animate or inanimate loads are being handled either frequently or infrequently and last one the modification to the workplace equipment training or risk-taking behavior of the worker are being monitored pre and also the post changes this is procedure for conduct a REBA assessment. So the first step, you need to observe the task. After you observe the task, and then you can select the posture for the assessment. And then I give the score for each posture. And uh, after that, you need to process the score. Uh, and then establish the REBA score. And after that, if you already got the REBA score, then you can confirm the action level. So for the first uh, is observe the task. In this observe the task, uh, to formulate a general ergonomic workplace assessment. So including the impact of the work layout, environment, use of equipment, and also behavior of the worker. Uh, and if possible, you need to record the data using the photograph or video camera. Okay, so this uh, with any observational tool, uh, multiple view are recommended yeah, to control for the parallax error. Second step is select the posture for the assessment. So you need to decide uh, which posture that you would like to analyze uh, from the observation in step one. So the, this is uh, the following criteria, which is uh, first is most frequently repeated posture, uh, longest uh, maintained posture, posture requiring the most muscular activity or the greatest force, and then a posture known to cause a discomfort, and also the extreme unstable awkward posture, and likely to be improved by intervention, control measure, and also the other changes. So the decision can be based on one or more above the uh, criteria. Uh, the criteria for deciding this, uh, which post uh, that should analyze, uh, should be reported with the result and also the recommendation. The third step is score the posture. So you need to use the scoring sheet and body part uh, score to score the posture. Actually, there are two groups for REBA. The first one is trunk, uh, group A is trunk, neck and legs. Group B is upper arms, uh, lower arms and also the wrist. And group B posture are scored separately for the left and right side. This is indicated on the scoring sheet. So this is the example of the REBA worksheet. There are group A, group B, and then you will uh, need to calculate the score A, score, uh, score B, and also the score uh, C. And then you need to uh, plus the activity score, and then you will get the finalized of the REBA score. 
So for the trunk, uh, there is based on the movement. You can choose uh, here, yeah, based on uh, this movement, which categorize that uh, the posture, yeah, the position, and then it will also give the score, uh, like score one until score four. Uh, and also for the uh, this one is head yeah head movement uh, there are two score only one or two uh, and then you have to add uh, you have to add a uh, plus one if there is twisting or slide uh, side flex yeah and also last is leg uh, so there are two score also for the leg uh, this is for the group S scoring yeah uh, and then uh, if uh, you need to add uh, plus one if knee between 30 degrees and 60 degrees flexion uh, and so on okay and this is a scoring for the group B uh, they are for hand arm uh, and also wrist yeah? so for each of these uh, movement or position they are score also uh, different between the hand arm and also the wrist and this is the load or for force score so they are uh, from zero if below 5 kg until plus one mm, this is if uh, until two uh, so zero for my uh, below than 5 kg one five until 10 kg two if above 10 kg mm, and you can add a plus one if there is a shock or rapid build up of force and this table is about load uh, coupling score so you need also to add the load coupling score there are three score actually from here if the coupling is good so the score is zero fair one uh, pull two and uh, unacceptable uh, so the coupling is unacceptable using other part of the body so you need to add three okay. and the next table is activity score uh, so if there is uh, some uh, activities uh, based on these three kind of activities, you need to add a plus one here. Yeah? So this is table A scoring for body part, uh, body part A, trunk, neck and legs. So this is the score of trunk at the left side and uh, at, uh, at the above is a score for neck and then score for legs. This is scoring for body part B, uh, which is there is upper arm, lower arm, and also wrist. And this is the grand score, meaning is the total score for the reba. This is you will get uh, from a group A score and also combined with the group B score that you can uh, then you can get the grand score or the total score for the reba. So this is table for the Reba action level, meaning uh, this is based on the Reba score, the total score that we got, uh, we can know the risk level and also uh, and also what is the action level that we need to do. So for Reba score 1, uh, risk level is negligible, action level is no, uh, 0 minutes, sorry. So the action is not necessary to do some uh, uh, improvement. So for Reba score 2 to 3, the risk level is low and the action level is 1. So maybe necessary to do some improvement. And Reba score 4 to 7, the risk level is medium. And the action level is 2. So uh, the action is need to do uh, necessary to do improvement. Uh, so meanwhile, for the Reba score 8 to 10, the risk level is high. So the action level is uh, 3. So the action is necessary uh, soon to do some improvement. And the last is the highest score is uh, 11 to 15. So the risk level is very high and the action level is 4. Meaning uh, necessary now to do uh, some improvement yeah, to uh, prevent from the MSD. So need to do improvement on the posture. Okay, so that's all uh, about the theory of the ruler and reba. So in the next video, we will learn how to use the ruler and reba worksheet based on the case study. Okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum.